we're to the point of sewing two geese together, what I like to call nose to tail. Now to do that, I prefer to put the one that is the tail on top. Of course, it's right sides together. And I'm gonna line up my edges just as I normally would. But here's what I do a little bit differently. I use a stiletto. And I'm going to go peek underneath that lower level, I can get it open, and find out exactly where my point is. Then I'm going to place my stiletto through the top layer, matching that point. Can you see what I'm doing there? It's kind of hard, but I've got that point right on the point. There we go, right on the point with my stiletto. Then I'm going to um, line up my edges and we'll just sew the seam as normal. One reason why I prefer a stiletto over a pin is because I can angle it and get right to it without having to uh, have the buckles or things that sometimes come with pins. Then I want to finish up you know, as normal and adjust as I need it. So let's see how we did on this one. Okay, let's open it up. I think that's a pretty good point. What about you? I hope you'll try a stiletto sewing. It's always something fun to have something new in your toolbox. I've laid out my piece units in the orientation of the instructions, and I see where I need to sew tail to points. So once again, I'm gonna lay the points on the bottom, making sure I have the correct orientation. Move my design wall out of the way. This is the orientation that they're going to go. So I'm gonna put right sides together, straighten up my edges, and then if you notice, I actually have two points. I have a point here, then I'm gonna have a point down here at the bottom. But let's work with the first point first. Again, I, because I trimmed everything to the exact size, I can line my cut edges up. I'm gonna find my point, find my point here, place my stiletto on that point, and then let's sew. And whoops, get it arranged here and meet our mark, all right. So as I'm sewing with the stiletto, I'm making sure that my seams are laying the way that I want to, and I might take another quick peek just to make sure I'm right on point before I get there. Let's make sure everything lays down flat. And then with the stiletto, again, I'm able to pivot that stiletto and get all the way up to my needle. Then I'm gonna stop and reposition my bottom Noticing now that I actually have a uh, almost an hourglass look here when I flip it up, but I have two points that need to match. So I'm going to find the quarter inch approximate on this one, line it up. You really can't see this, sorry, but we're gonna try. Line those up together, so pivot, and let's see how we did. All right, the truth is in the opening of the points. Yay, look, those two came together exactly like they should, and this one came together right where it should. So this is one of the reasons why this is, besides my um, cutting tools from Deb Tucker, that this is one of my favorite tools in the toolbox, and I use stiletto sewing a, a lot because it helps me achieve those points that I've worked so hard to have by being able to oversize my blocks and cut them to precision. This aids me in precision piecing. So, quilt rambler tip for the day.